In the closing arguments of Donald Trump's criminal hush money trial, New York prosecutor Joshua Steinglass accused the former president of engaging in a conspiracy to corrupt the 2016 election and attempting a subsequent cover-up. Steinglass urged jurors to consider whether Trump falsified business records to hide a $130,000 payment to porn star Stormy Daniels, which could have influenced voter decisions. This scheme, according to Steinglass, may have been pivotal in Trump's election victory. Trump's defense lawyer, Todd Blanche, asked jurors to disregard their personal views of Trump and focus solely on the evidence presented. Blanche portrayed the case as simple, arguing for a not guilty verdict. He claimed Daniel sought to extort Trump, who denies any wrongdoing or sexual encounter with her. Steinglass emphasized that regardless of Daniel's motives, Trump's actions violated the law by concealing the hush money payment through falsified records. He also highlighted testimony from David Packer, former National Enquirer publisher, who corroborated the plan to suppress damaging stories about Trump. The jury will begin deliberations soon, and a conviction could lead to a four-year prison sentence for Trump, although imprisonment is unlikely for a first-time offender of this nature. This trial is the first of four criminal cases Trump faces, with others relating to alleged election interference and mishandling classified information. Trump has pleaded not guilty in all cases, accusing Democrats of politically motivated attacks. The outcome of this trial will not bar Trump from pursuing or assuming the presidency, with current polls indicating a tight race between him and President Joe Biden.